Is the education system in India really helping to shape the future or is it failing our children? Today we delve into a story that has sparked a national conversation about the state of education in the country. In the heart of Madhya Pradesh, a state in central India lies the district of Barwani. Here, a government school has found itself in the eye of a storm. Out of 85 students who sat for their examination, not a single one managed to pass. This is not a tale of students not putting in the effort, but rather a reflection of a system that appears to be failing them. Accusations of negligence in teaching have repeatedly been leveled against the educators in government schools. This particular school, located near Ketia in the Malfa village, is no exception. Of the 89 12th grade students enrolled, 85 took their exams at the Temla Center. Shockingly, not a single student passed. The aftermath of the results has triggered a wave of anger among the villagers. Allegations of irregularities have led the locals to demand action against the entire school staff. Despite a new building for the higher secondary school standing ready, the lack of students present on a typical day paints a bleak picture. When a representative arrived at Malfa with their team, they found not a single student in any classroom. Furious parents who claim that there is no teaching happening at the school have arrived at the school. They have leveled serious allegations against the teachers and the principal, accusing them of not teaching and shirking their responsibilities. The story from this one school in Madhya Pradesh is a stark reminder of the challenges that plague the education system in India. It raises questions about the quality of education being imparted, the role of educators, and the future of the students who are part of this system. In conclusion, this tale from Madhya Pradesh is a wake-up call, a reminder that the education system must not only impart knowledge, but also inspire students to learn. The future of a nation depends on the education of its youth, and it is time to ensure that no student is left behind.